Grand Theft Auto, the original GTA. Should we do a Let's Play on the original? <laughs> oh, man. Like, we haven't even completed Vice City. And Vice City's been, what, three years ago? Nearly four years ago? But we could do a Let's Play on the original Grand Theft Auto. That would be funny. Well, hello there and welcome back to a brand new video where today's a very exciting day because PlayStation Classic, the console, which I think is like 30% smaller than the original PS1. If you guys aren't aware that the PlayStation Classic is or what it is in general, PlayStation Classic is basically PS1 but a remake version which has games already built on it. I think you get two controllers and all that fun stuff. I, I think, is it 30% smaller? No, it's 45% smaller and it's the original 1994 PlayStation. So obviously I'm born in 1994 so 24 years ago and playstation classic is basically a replica of the ps1 but smaller comes with two controllers and it comes with 20 games pre-installed now today we finally find out finally find out finally find out we finally found out if i knew the correct way of speaking english uh we finally found a little bit of, i can't even speak we're so excited but yeah um today we actually found out what those 20 games were and to be honest those games are fairly good but a lot of people on twitter are going meh like people on twitter are going why is it this game not there why is this not game not there and we don't know know if we'll be able to add games or these 20 games are set in stone like will we be in a position where if we buy this console can we add more games or like someone mentioned on twitter it's probably cheaper to actually go and buy a used ps1 and buy yourself some you know ps1 games but obviously it doesn't have hdmi whereas this does so i don't know and by the way i do actually have um playstation classic on pre-order so i am intrigued to find out how good it really is i mean i think it was only what 80 pounds or something so it's, it's cheap but is it cheap you know financially is it better to buy an original ps1 and buy ps1 games but you don't get hdmi but you could get a hdmi splitter who knows? But anyway, we're rounding on, as always. But today, we're going to be talking about the 20 pre-installed games for the PlayStation Classic. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to leave massive thumbs up. Subscribe to the new comment down below your thoughts regarding this. Right, so we have the announcement, which is crazy. The console launches on December 3rd, which is in about just under three weeks, under three, under four weeks. So we're getting, I can't believe December. I can't, this, where has this year gone? But anyway, so before we talk about the 20 games, we're going to be talking about some of the five fan favorites from PS1. I'm reading this from the PlayStation blog. There'll be a link down below if you do want to check out the information, the article. But basically, some of the fan favorites which are adding is Final Fantasy VII not bad and jumping flash ridge racer type 4 tekken 3 and wild arms apparently those are some big fan favorites but i'm looking for the list right now and there are some games here which i'm like surely these were the fan favorites i don't know but anyway the games that we have is we have battle arena to Shiden. we have call borders 2 destruction derby final fantasy 7 Grand Theft Auto, the original GTA. Should we do a Let's Play on the original? <laughs> oh, man. Like, we haven't even completed Vice City. And Vice City's been, what, three years ago? Nearly four years ago. But we could do a Let's Play on the original Grand Theft Auto. That would be funny. Uh, Intelligence Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, the, the OG, the OG game. Mr. Diller. Mr. Diller? No, Mr. Driller. I, um, I pronounced it wrong. Mr. Driller. And then we have Oddworld, Abby's Odyssey, Raymond. Wow. Raymond's on here. Resident Evil, Director's Cut, Revelations Persona, Ridge Racer Type 4, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, Siphon Fitter, Tekken 3, I love a fighting game. Tom Clancy Rainbow Six, wow. Tom Clancy Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. So that's the full list, and I'm pretty intrigued by it. I'm kind of excited. Uh, you know, I'm down for Tekken. I'm down for maybe, like, GTA. But if you go to Twitter, where obviously where the cool people are, on Twitter, we actually have some information in terms of, like, people's feedback. So one guy goes, there's no Crash, there's no Bash, there's no Spyro, there's no Spider-Man, there's no Tony Hawk. Why? Those games are fan favorites. And he said, I've canceled the pre-order, not being funny, but these games alone, with a few listed for the classic, made my childhood. So, yeah, Spyro. Why is the Spyro? Why? Was, was it even Stuart Little or PS1 game? If Stuart Little was on this, how awesome would that be? But some people were saying there's no Gran Turismo. I mean, why? So that's why early on I was like, could there ever be like an enhancement? But I don't think it is. I think it's more of an out-of-the-box type thing. 
I don't think PlayStation will be changing it, but they might give us maybe, I don't know, a cartridge or something which gives us more games. Fingers crossed that is the case. But no, what are your thoughts about the 20 games for the PlayStation Classic? So if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave a massive thumbs up. Subscribe and comment down below your thoughts regarding this. But anyway, have a wonderful day. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.